We're gonna make a basic tomato sauce. We're gonna use a lot of garlic, one whole head. Just press down and crush the entire thing, then pull out each clove. Now lay your knife flat on it and hit it like it owes you money. We're gonna slice our garlic real thin. We want it to just melt into the sauce. For the sauce, I'm going to be using a sweet yellow onion. It's a normal, standard onion you find in every grocery store. This is a Patterson varietal. Again, we're gonna cut it very, very small, as small as you can. We want to just melt along with the garlic into the sauce. Always use the claw technique when dicing so you save your knuckles. I'm using two ounces of extra virgin olive oil from California. I'm putting our garlic into the oil in a cold pan. I want to infuse all that flavor into the oil. Next up our onions. We're cooking on a low heat. We want it to just simmer real slow and caramelize. One single bay leaf because grandma says so. You can see our onions and garlic are starting to caramelize. Now we're going to deglaze with a dry white wine. I'm using a Vino Verde from Portugal. Give your pan a quick stir to get all the flavor bits off the bottom of the pan. We are going to reduce our white wine by about half before adding in our tomatoes. I'm using canned San Marzano tomatoes because they are canned at peak season. So they are the best quality you can possibly get. Now, if it's August or September, please feel free to use some local fresh tomatoes. Our sauce has been simmering for about 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna add in all of our Italian basil. Give it a quick stir to get the basil mixed in with the sauce, and we're gonna allow it to simmer for about 25 minutes. A good tomato sauce takes less than an hour. You don't need to have it simmering on the stove for three or four hours. And there you have it, a basic tomato sauce.